What's up, everybody? Rear 94 bringing you another action figure haul. This is episode 19. And here we have the Star Wars SH figures R2D2 and C3PO from A New Hope. Long awaited to arrive to SH figures uh, series, and here we have them finally. They look pretty nice to the packaging, so I'm pretty excited to open these up. Really excited of the packages, and then here's the back. So, very happy for these. I'm glad uh, these got released finally, and I'm um, looking forward to the review. So, check that out once it's up. Here's a little Toys R Us exclusive haul. This is from the San Diego Comic Con. I, I, this was, I guess, a San Diego Comic Con Toys R Us exclusive. Um, a double whammy there, I guess you can say. Uh, it was sold at the event and then also sold on the Toys R Us website. And I got it off the website, of course. They had it for retail of $25 plus shipping. So, you know, it was over $30 to ship this thing. But it's the only way to get it. So, this is Clone Commander Gree from, of course, Episode 3. Revenge of the Sith, so very cool, and I'm happy to have this too in my Star Wars Black Series collection. This is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive 2017 Luke Skywalker with Land Speeder. I guess the only exclusivity here, and of course, this goes with all Black Series exclusives, is the extra pieces in the back and possibly the packaging design. And that's it. I know they're gonna release a regular release of this Land Speeder with Luke, so. Uh, that is coming. It's probably not going to include all the actual stuff. That's it. That's my opinion on it. But uh, this is a very nice packaging, and I like it a lot. So how to get it? Hasbro was a little bit ridiculous this year and gave us like four exclusives for San Diego Comic Con, uh, and you include the Command Degree. So you know all their exclusives are going to be released regularly. It's just going to not include all the regular pieces like I mentioned already, and the fancy design box. But these are always cool to have just for the box and for collector pieces. So this is the two pack with Luke Skywalker. Uh, these will be sold individually. So it comes in that sleeve and then you open it up and they're right there. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, they will. I think this is part of wave one of The Last Jedi uh, Black Series. So uh, you'll get them right away. And that also includes the Command Thrawn, which I also did receive. And the box is pretty fancy too. So you have this display right here. So very, very cool for collectors, adult collectors that like stuff to mail on card uh, and to display in their collection room. So very, very nice piece here. We have another San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive. It is the Sun Goku SSG Wars KO Ken version. Uh, not the most excited about this because we already got it. We got it for the 10th anniversary world tour and uh, I, I got it, I reviewed it. So I just wanted this for the box. I know, for the box, for the sticker, whatever. It's not even a sticker, it's printed. And um, they kind of inverted the colors of the box. So this is more pink than white than the other one. So it's a little bit slightly different, but that's it. Uh, they added the, the Comic Con logo and that's it. So you guys that are completionists like me for mail and card, then you're gonna have to get this one. I, luckily I paid retail for it, so uh, I don't have to worry about the double the price, but uh, yeah, there's no point in getting this if you really got the world towards the same exact figure. So an eBay haul. Some Dragon Ball Z Jack specific figures from you know way back, probably ten years ago. Um, over than that now, wow. 2006, 2005, these came out. You know, they're not the most greatest figures in the world. They're really not, articulation-wise, paint-wise, and even sculpt-wise sometimes, even likeness. Um, but there's just something about these. I did grow up with these. These are the ones I played with when I was a kid, and the Irwin ones. Uh, so I kind of like them, you know? I like them in the package now. Uh, I'll get them loose if I fight a loose, but, um, you know, they're great figures, and I like them a lot. So I'm collecting, uh, actually, I got a lot of these. I'm not gonna show them all right now. I'm gonna do them little by little, within every little haul video because it's just so much. I kind of went on a rampage and bought a whole bunch. Here's the Super Saiyan Broly from the Transformation series. And then from the Trilogy series, Series 1, we have Kid Goku. And then we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which I really miss that form. Super Saiyan 4 in general, really like that form. Um, but these are great. They're not in the greatest condition package-wise, but, um, you know, they're old. So, But I like these a lot, seriously. If there's anybody else that likes these figures, um, let me know. So. But yeah, uh, anybody that's looking to get rid of them, then let me know as well, because I'm looking to, to get some of them. So. Alright, so I just recently got into the Shoto Dragon Ball line, and I know yet yeah, another freaking line. But these are pretty cool, they're not too expensive, and uh, they're nicely detailed and all. So I, I just got into them, uh, and it was all thanks to the nap that just got released. The Nappa looks so good that... Uh, it, got me interested in and I like the other one so here we have some of the figures that I got recently this is Super Saiyan Goku this is actually from an older wave here you got Bardock and Broly back there 
Um, but I do have Bardock, which is right here. So there's Bardock right there. We do have Golden Frieza, which is from the Super Wave right here. So we have the Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta, which are behind Frieza right here. So I also have these. I'm still on the lookout. Uh, for all the other ones that I am missing. I am getting the Nappa wave in the mail soon, so I will be having those. Um, but anything for that, I am missing, so I'm after those now. All right, here's a haul from Japan. We got the SH figures. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, of course, Spider-Man here by Bandai Tamashi. Excited for this uh, release here. We're slowly getting our Avengers put together in SH figures form, so very nice that we are getting this guy here. At the SH figure, it's Nappa, the Dragon Ball Z web exclusive by Bayonet to Machine Nations. I have been waiting years on years for this figure and I'm finally here and I'm so happy, so excited. So I can't wait to review this guy. It's probably up by the time you see this video, so check that review out. Um, but overall, I'm just, this is one of my most anticipated figures for this year and for this line in general so very good release this time around we have the sh figuarts super saiyan 3 son goku figure this is a remake an updated version of this we have gotten super saiyan 3 before but we finally got what we all wanted it was a better updated version the previous one wasn't as great as many have wanted it to be so overall i'm pretty excited for this figure and I cannot wait to get him out of the package. Here we have the Hascon 2017 Hasbro exclusives, the Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex, along with the Uncanny X Force version of Deadpool. So, uh, very, very happy to have these. Super stoked. Uh, they both look great. I do know that Rex will be a regular release eventually, probably with the last accessories and not the fancy box. That's probably what I'm assuming. If not, then it's just gonna be without the fancy box. Uh, Deadpool, I don't know if he's gonna have a regular release or not. But overall, I'm very, very happy to get these two uh, Hascon exclusives. The very first Hascon uh, ever was this year, so I'm guessing it's gonna be an annual thing as well. So. And here's an SH Figuarts haul. We do have the SH Figuarts Dark Knight Joker. We recently just released. This is from Japan. And also, we do have the Tamashi Nations uh, exclusive figures which were old. I'm a little behind on these but better late than never. We have the 2015 Shadow Trooper and the 2016 exclusive Clone Trooper Phase 1 Captain. So uh, like I said better late than never and I'm happy to get these uh, now. And here we got another haul from AgelessGeeks.com. We have the SH Figuarts Last Jedi set of figures here. The first set of figures that they've released. We have the First Order Stormtrooper with the Pauldron. Then we have the Captain Phasma remake and then also the new uh, BB-9E bonus that you get with this. This is the combo pack that you buy and you get this. They do not sell this separately which is a bummer. I really was only interested in this. Can you believe that? Uh, they have already made Phasma. I'm going to open him up and see if he's any better than the previous one. Uh, he literally looks the same to me right now through the package, but I really gotta put them next to each other. And then this is just a reuse of the same old First Order Stormtrooper. They just added a pauldron, maybe some accessories, and that's it. So, nothing really, really brand new in this set except for the BB-9E. But if you want to get the BB unit, then this is the only way, unless somebody sells it separately on eBay, probably for more. Uh, but, technically, you're getting this guy for free when you get uh, these two right here together. Here we have yet another great haul from AsusGeeks.com. Too big to fit in the frame, but we've seen this before from the Mark III Hall of Armor set. This is the Iron Man Mark II Hall of Armor set, and the US release includes it with the Hall of Armor. So that is awesome because I'm trying to build the Hall of Armor, right? You want to get these previous suits and get all of Tony Stark's suits in the Hall of Armor all lit up, looking very nice. Cannot wait. Uh, so we have Mark II here. And I'm very excited for this first time we ever see Mark II in SH Figuarts form. Alright, and this is one of my most exciting hauls and my most anticipating hauls in a long time. I've been wanting a Mint on Car Dragon Ball GT Battle of Freedom Series 7 Omega Shenron and Kid Goku 2 pack sealed for the longest time. And I finally have one. Holy cow. And it is in beautiful condition for how old it is. It really is. I'm excited beyond belief for this. Wow, I would never take this out of the package no matter what. But this came at a cost, guys. This thing was so expensive. I'm not even going to say how much I paid. I just paid too much for it. But when there's something that you really, really want out there and it's really, really rare as much as this, I mean, 
there really is no value on it, you know, it's priceless. So if, if it's something that you want and you have the money for it, go get it, you know. Obviously, you're not going to pay something ridiculous to the point where you're going to be homeless. But, but if you can afford something and you really want it and it's something that you know, you know, if, if it's that value to you, then, you know, I'd say that's when it's justifiable to spend a certain amount of money. But I'm not going to say how much I spent. You guys could take a guess. Or maybe you guys could figure it out. Who knows? But this is one of my most intense videos. The story behind this is that they made limited quantities because this got released towards the end of Jack Pacific's run with Dragon Ball and their license, whatever, right before they lost it, right before they stopped making Dragon Ball figures. This was towards the end, so not as much of these got released as other, you know, earlier releases from Jax. So, not much were sold. So, But anyways, happy to get it. Here it is. Got it from eBay, of course. So, here you go.